Good morning, everyone. Our opening song will be Praise to You, O Christ our Savior. Praise to you, O Christ our Savior, Word of the Father calling us to life, Son of God who leads us to freedom, Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the Word who calls us out of darkness. You are the Word who leads us into light. You are the Word who leads us through the desert. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ our Savior, Word of the Father calling us to life. Son of God, who leads us to freedom, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the one whom prophets hoped and longed for. You are the one who speaks to us today. You are the one who leads us to our future, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, Word of the Father, calling us to life, Son of God, who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we celebrate this feast of the chair of St. Peter, we ask his intercession as we continue our Lenten journey. At this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Frank Serena and Tony Passero. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. We recite the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that no tempest may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Now as an elder myself and as a witness to the sufferings of Christ, as well as one who shares in the glory to be revealed, I exhort the elders among you to tend the flock of God that is in your charge, exercising the overseeing, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you do it, not for sordid gain, but eagerly, do not lord it over those in your charge, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will win the crown of glory that never fades away. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He leads me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. 
for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. You are Peter, the rock on which I will build my church. The gates of hell will not hold out against it. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? The disciples said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Jesus said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my Father in heaven. And I will tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Where have I heard this question before? Oh, yes, Metanoia, episode one. How fitting that just as we move into episode two, the church gives us this feast day. You see how the Holy Spirit works, friends? This is a very important question that our whole parish, please God, have been focusing on is exactly the feast that the church gives us today as we celebrate the chair of St. Peter. You see how important it is for Jesus to come to an understanding of who he is. Jesus is not getting like the local gossip, like what others think about me. He knows everything. <laughs> He's actually inviting the disciples into this deep understanding, as Father David taught us in episode one, of first coming to know what the world says, then what they say, and then to come to a deep understanding of who he really is. The church gives us this feast because St. Peter is not particularly the bouncer of heaven, although we call him that, that he has the keys of the kingdom and he sits at some table right outside the gates with the book of life and says, Rico Becerra, no, you're not on the list, sorry. Rico Becerra, oh, you're on the list, come on ahead. That's not what St. Peter does. But the reality is Jesus was making Peter, our first pope, and how the authority here on earth of the papacy is very important because while the Holy Spirit is still the head of the church, we need strong leadership. And that leadership, as St. Peter says in the first reading, as an elder, is to lead us all to heaven. That's the purpose of the apostles. That's the purpose of everyone since the apostles because all we are doing is passing the baton of faith onto the next person, onto the next person. It starts from Jesus and flows down through the centuries. That's what it means to be part of the Catholic Church. That's what it means to be a Christian, to live according to the teachings of God. But we thank God for this structure and the, the chair of St. Peter representing the structure of the church to allow us to understand that it's not Father Rico who makes up the rules, it's not Pope Francis who makes up the rules, but yet it's the Holy Spirit who works through the church that helps us to grow in holiness, that through the commandments of God and the teachings of Jesus Christ, we are shielded, we are protected, and we are shaped on that narrow path that leads us to Jesus, who is the way, 
the truth, and the life. So just because we moved it now today into episode two, where Jesus has asked the very important question, what must I do to inherit eternal life? It's important for us to realize that we still need to come to an understanding of who Jesus is. And the more we answer as St. Peter did in today's gospel, and the more we focus on what that really means if I believe in this, the more you and I will grow in holiness. Let us continue our Lenten journey together as we follow in the footsteps of the first apostles. Let us pray. Trusting in God's care and concern for us, let us bring our petitions to him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Pope Francis and all who care for the Lord's flock, that God may shape and lead their decision-making, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those entrusted with leadership throughout the world. May God inspire them to grow in virtue, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are sick in mind, body, or spirit. May God console them and provide for their needs, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all of us gathered here, that God may grant us the fortitude to be peacemakers in our families and in our communities, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Frank and Papa, for the holy souls in purgatory and all who have died. May they receive from Christ the unfading crown of glory and rest in eternal peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of the church you have promised to watch over and preserve until the end of time. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. St. Peter, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity, through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, 
but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Frank and Papa, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Peter, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. 
Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed apostle Peter, have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant we pray that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our blessed mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O holy mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Friends, a gentle reminder, because of my funeral at 1 o'clock, today's session of Metanoia will take place at 11.30 instead of 12.30, just for this week. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father, calling us to life, Son of God, who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the word who calls us to be servants. You are the word whose only law is love. You are the word made flesh who lives among us. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father, calling us to life. Son of God, who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the word who binds us and unites us. You are the word who calls us to be one. You are the word who teaches us forgiveness. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father, calling us to life. Son of God, who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a good day, everyone.